یا بنی آدم قدم ضلع علیکم لباس یواری سوات کم وریشا ناؤ بیکاز یو نو بائی ایٹنگ دی فروٹ آف دیٹ فارمیڈن ٹری دی پیئر اور فور فادرز اینڈ اور گرینڈ مدر اینڈ گرینڈ فادر دے بیکیم نیکڈ سو ہیئر یو نو ود دیٹ کنیکشن اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ از پوائنٹنگ ٹوورڈس این انوویشن اے ویری شیم شیم فل ڈیڈ دیٹ سم آف دی عربس ہیڈ انوینٹیڈ ان دی نیم آف پائرٹی یو نو اینڈ وٹ واز دیٹ دے یوز ٹو میک طواف سرکل ایمبولیٹ اراؤنڈ کعبہ ایبسولیوٹلی نیکڈ اسٹار نیکڈ But this is how Allah had made us. We put off all these things, you know. And when we are circumambulating around the house of Allah, we should be as Allah sent to us in this world. Not to have these additional things on our bodies. And this they thought it was a very big act of virtue. And it was a very bad, very shameful act that they had invented. Now this is what is discussed here. یا بنی آدم او چلڈرن آف آدم قد انزلنا علیکم لباسا وی ہیو سینڈ ڈاؤن اپون یو ڈریس ریمنٹ آف ڈفرینٹ کائنڈس یو آر ای سو آت کم سو دیٹ یو کین کور یور پرائیویٹ پارٹس آف یور باڈی وریشا اینڈ آلسو این اڈورنمنٹ فار یو وین یو وی ایئر گڈ ڈریس یو آر اڈورنڈ و لباس تقوا ظال کا خیر اوور اینڈ ابو دس لباس آف ریمنٹ اینڈ کلوتھس You must have another libas, and that is of taqwa. That is much better, much more precious. Zalika min ayatillahi la'allakum yatzakkaru. These are from among the revelations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so that they might be reminded. Ya bani adama la yaftinannakum ushaytanu kama akhraja abawaykum min al-jannah yanzi'u anhuma libasahuma liyuriyahuma sawatihima. O children of Adam, this Satan, let not Satan tempt you or seduce you. As he turned out, he made, you know, your fathers, your, your grandfather and mother, he had made them to be turned out of Jannah. He made them strip and become naked from their, their dress. The yuriya huma sawatehima, so that He showed to them their private parts, their, their organs of shame. Innahu yaraakum ho wa kabiluhu. He and his tribe, his agents, his armies, they see you min heso la taronahu. Where from you can't see them. Jins are invisible to humans. They can see us, we can't see them. Malaika see us, we can't see them. Because both of them are from نور اینڈ نار دی روٹ آف دیز بوتھ ورڈز از دی سیم نور نار الف اینڈ واؤ دے آر حروف اللہ اینڈ حروف اللہ دے دے آر ایکسچینج ان ون ادرس پلیس نار نور سو دے ور کریٹڈ فرام نور بوتھ آر ویری سٹل تھنگس اینڈ اینجلس ور کریٹڈ فرام نور اینڈ دی دی جنس ور کریٹڈ فرام نار So they are invisible. They can take the form. What is more subtle can take another form. But the inert body that we have, we can't change our form. They can take the form of man. Hazrat Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam used to come to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasalam many times in the form of a man. And mostly in the shape and in the features of Dahiya Kalbi razi Allah ta'ala alayhi wasalam. He was a very beautiful, handsome person. So that was the shape taken by Hazrat Jibreel alayhi salam whenever he came to, mostly whenever he came to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi in the form of a human being. A jinn can have, can attire himself as a human being, but we can't do it. So they are potentially invisible for us and they see us. Innahu yaraakum, verily he sees you. Not only you, wa huwa qabil, wa qabiluhu. His agents of the jinns and his, you know, his tribe min haysu la taraunahum from where you can't see them inna jalna shayateen awliya lil ladina la yu'minun and we have made these satans now these are satans not one shaitan that was one shaitan now agents included these are the satans we have made these satans friends of those who don't believe 
if you believe in Allah, they will run away. If you don't have that iman and faith in Allah, they will come and overpower you. And when they are doing and committing a very shameful act, I have told you, making tawaf around Kaaba in an absolutely stark, naked form. They say, Kalu wajadna alayha abana. We found our forefathers doing this. Wallahu amarana beha. And this was their argument. If our forefathers were doing it, they must have been ordered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How could they have done it by themselves? Allahu amarana beha. Or in Allah la yamuru bil fasha. Tell them, oh no, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can never command shameful acts. This is shame. Al hayaw bin al iman. Well, haya shrobatum in al-Iman. Haya, you know, shyness, shame. They are from among the highest faculties of human beings. Highest faculties. This faculty is present even in some of the more evolved higher animals. The elephants never mate in the presence of other elephants. They go to private privacy. When a she elephant, you know, she gives birth to a child. All the males get away very far off and they surround that, you know, wood and jungle so that nobody can now enter. And only the females attend that, that, that female, uh, you know, elephant when she is delivering a child. So all these things are from basic nature. And in man, this, you know, shame and shyness has reached its climax. And we read it in physiology of the brain that the highest functions of brain are shyness and fear. These are the highest of Why? Fear to preserve yourself so that you can run away from whatever can, can take your life. So this is the highest function, preservation of the self and shyness. They are the two highest functions of the brain. That is why when you take liquor, these two highest factors, they are knocked down. When they are knocked out, you become more brave. You become more shameless. Now you can speak, make a better speech. Because now you know, you have become shameless. Behaya basho harche khaikun. When you have become behaya, you know, you can do anything now. So actually the resultant effect of this liquor and alcohol is that apparently you become more active, more strong, more mobile. But actually what has happened? The highest function of your brain has been knocked out. That shyness and that fear has gone out. So apparently... You have become fearless. Shy, you are not shy anymore. So this is actually shyness. So what to mean? Iman. Are you saying and attributing to Allah which you, don't, which you never know? You don't have any proof, any document. Tell them, my Lord has commanded justice. And straighten your faces. On every time of prayer, Vadruho Mukhlisina Lahuddin. And call him, pray him, pray to him. But Mukhlisina Lahuddin is very important to understand. Keeping your deen exclusive for him regarding both worship and obedience. If you are praying to him, but you are committing shirk also, he will not listen to you. Go away. Unless you have that ikhlas, tawheed, you are exclusively his bondsman. You are obeying him exclusively. You love him most as, as compared to any other being. If this is not the condition, your deen is not khalis. It's not pure. Mukhlisin al-Lahuddin. If you have made your deen, Exclusively for him, both regarding obedience and love and worship, then he will respond to your prayers. Mukhlisin al-Lahuddin kama bada kum taudun. As you were created in the beginning, you will return. Again, you will be created. As you originated, in the same way you will return. Fiha tahyona wa fiha tamutuna wa minha tukhrajun. These words came in ayah number 25. And in the same way, Kama badakum ta'udu. Fariqan hada. But during this period, 
اے پارٹی اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ہیز گائیڈیڈ ٹو دی رائٹ پات وہ فریق الحق علیہ مضلح اینڈ دیئر از انر پارٹی ہوم دس دس مس گائیڈنس یو نو ہیز اکرڈ دے ہیو ٹیکن ہولڈ آف انر پارٹی آل دس ایرر اینڈ ان جسٹس ان نہوں میں تخت و شیاطین اولیا دے ہیو ٹیکن دس شیاطین دی سیٹن اینڈ ہز ایجنٹس ایز فرینڈس اینڈ پروٹیکٹرس من دون اللہ لیونگ اللہ بسائڈس اللہ وہ یہ سبون انہوں مرتدون اینڈ اسٹل دے تھنک دیٹ دے آر رائٹلی گائیڈیڈ 